Hi guys, Mother of Madness here, back with another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my weekly grocery haul at Walmart. This is for our family of five. Not everything is a weekly pickup, but I spent just about $170, so less than $200 for everything. However, not everything was um, like a food item that I'm going to use. So I'm going to show you real quick two of the things that I picked up. Uh, I got this for my little guy today. So, of course, this was, uh, I think it was $4.24. This is a little gift for him for being so good while we were in the store. So this is for him for later. But I, it is part of the $170 that I did spend. Um, and then also another thing, which is not grocery, is this um, pool shock stuff that I needed for our pool. It was $6 and change. Um, again, this is something I wouldn't pick up on a regular, normal basis, but we did need it. With how hot it has been here in Florida, and then on top of it, the rain, the pool has been like less than stellar. So I wanted to put a bag of shock in it for the weekend. So that's also something I picked up as part of this haul. So like I said, everything was from Walmart. It came to roughly $170 um, with those two extra goodies. But And then some things were just new things that I haven't tried before. And some things I are like normal, every day, every week type things for us. So one of the things that I picked up which was new are these, um, I've tried the Clear American drinks before but not these flavors. I picked up the Blue Raspberry and these are only 78 cents, which I think is a pretty good deal. They're pretty large. Um, you don't have to drink it all in one shot, but if you do, it's only 10 calories for the whole entire thing, and they're just over 32 ounces. And then I also got this um, red, white, and blue pop, like the Bomb Pops. I figured that would be yummy to try, so I wanted to give that a try as, as well. And again, that's only 10 calories. Um, we needed toilet paper. Um, I did have an Ibotta rebate for a dollar back on that. This was $12.48, so it ends up being only $11.48 for the Quilted Northern um, Mega Pack. I got a pack of the little mini Powerades. These were $4, I think $4.98 for the eight pack. Um, I saw these as we were going to check out. They had the Ring Pop, red, white, and blues on clearance for 50 cents. So I picked up two packages of those. I grabbed a pack of these Jack Link's Pork Tender Bites in the Korean barbecue. These are pretty good and the macros aren't too shabby either if you guys are interested in um, macros for what you grab. But these are good. They're, you know, not too tough. They're pretty tasty. And these I think are about, I think they're $3.97 I believe. So like or $3.98 either way. They're about $4 for those. I grabbed a package of the Butterball Turkey Bacon, some waffle fries. I usually get the big, big bag from Sam's Club, but I didn't go to Sam's Club yet this week. So I just grabbed these because the boys have really been enjoying the waffle fries. And then, of course, I get the Chick-fil-A uh, sauces from Walmart as well. So it's kind of like having a um, Chick-fil-A waffle fry dupe. And then I have, uh, I just got like some original great value pancake syrup that was less than $3. And then uh, me and the hubs do the Carrie's sugar free. This is actually pretty good guys. If you're looking for a sugar free option, this um, tastes really good. And it's not like very thick, like the regular pancake syrup. It's a little bit thinner, which I uh, like myself. And that's what the ingredients and the calories and stuff are for that so a little bit goes a long way something I always have in my hauls is the Nesquik chocolate syrup I was kind of um, disappointed to see that this went up in price it used to be like less than three dollars and it's now over three dollars it's three thirty four each for these but these are something that I have every day in my house um, my kids do the chocolate milk every single day so that's something that's always um, in my hauls and I got two of those. I got some of the Hungry Jack pancake mix. This had the least amount of calories than that like the great value was more. Um, this one had the least amount of calories at 130 for only a quarter cup, cup of the dry mix. 
so I grabbed that and everyone seems to like these and I already have like chocolate chips and things like that if the boys want chocolate chip pancakes and then I grabbed some of this Barilla protein angel hair pasta really like this it tastes just like regular pasta guys trust me I am very picky when it comes to that and it does it tastes just like regular pasta and that's what the ingredients are and what the macros are if you're interested so it's a nice easy way to get some extra protein in for the kids so I always want to try to find that and then the boys like these cookies and cream pop tarts I grabbed a package of those they were I think $4.98 for the package the 16 pack and then I grabbed some of these Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurts. I got the four pack of the strawberry cheesecake. These were less than $4. And then I've only seen these in the singles is the tiramisu. This is so, so good. I love a good tiramisu. This is definitely something that will get me by without having to have the extra calories. And what I like to do with these little Dan and Lighten fits is I'll put some of this, I didn't buy this today, this Catalina Crunch in on top, like as a topping with the um, yogurt and eat it together. And it's really, really good with the cinnamon toast is the one I get. So it's almost like having the graham cracker crust um, on the cheesecake one. And it gives it like an extra, little bit of extra protein and and stuff in it but that's what I like to do with those so I like to have those on hand for a dessert and then I got two cans of the no salt added sweet peas um, these I just use it for whatever sides or sometimes I'll throw them into the pasta uh, something we always have in the house is the polio string cheese my kids go through a ton of cheese sticks so these are a great little snack I grabbed some of these Tyson Anytizer. This is my um, little guy's favorite, favorite are these honey barbecue boneless bites. He will eat these if I'm ever in a pinch and need something quick to make for him for a lunch or dinner or whatever. He loves these. I throw these in the air fryer. They come out perfect. He really likes these. And there was like, I think it's $2. I bought a rebate back on it. So that even was even better. So it was like maybe six or seven something after the rebate for this bag two apple juices at a dollar 98 each for 64 ounces um, we got some bananas it was kind of hard to find good bananas this week i got two packages of the great value fat-free cheese these only have 30 calories per serving and four grams of protein so these seem to be the um least cost and least calories for the cheeses if you guys are looking for something like that i got two packages of those and these i think are less than three dollars a package so it's sometimes even works out better getting these than like even a buy one get one free deal for some of the other brands and they're less calories like i said i got a package of the brown and serve turkey sausages these are 100 calories i think for three links so we're doing breakfast for dinner, so we'll be making some of these. And for whoever doesn't like the turkey sausage, I also got original sausage patties. These are 150 for two patties. So I got those, and those are quick and easy to make. Um, we haven't tried these before, but I got them as a convenience thing for like during the week for like a quick breakfast or even on the weekend while we're running out the door. We can still have something that's good in calories and protein and stuff but again we haven't tried these yet so this i got just the four count uh 270 calories per sandwich 18 grams of protein so that's what we're going to be giving a try is these jimmy dean delights um i believe they were oh and a pokemon card i believe they were like seven dollars in Okay, yes, yeah, seven ninety eight. It says here seven ninety eight for those for four of them. So you figure two dollars a sandwich. That's less than McDonald's, guys, and it's a healthier option. Uh, these we haven't tried yet either, but I have teenage boys at home that, if they want to just make themselves something quick and easy, and they don't need mom to do it, that's 
awesome. So I got some of these little deep dish cheese pizzas for them. They, as you see, they just throw it in the air fryer and they can have those. These were only a $2.98 or two, like less than $3 for two of these little pizzas. So they have those. I got a pack of little mandarin oranges. Uh, those were $4 and change. An English cucumber that was less than a dollar, I think 98 cents. This was new, I haven't seen these before. These are these little, like instead of the big bag salad Caesar kits that really I'm the only one in the house that really enjoys them. So, so much of it goes to waste because once you put the croutons and the dressing and everything, everything gets like soggy and gross. These are little mini ones, which I thought were great. These little mini chopped salad kits. It has everything in here, and it's like one little serving, 250 calories, 5 grams of protein, and then you just throw your chicken or whatever you want on it. And these were $1.98 each, so I grabbed two of those. I grabbed a package of strawberries. They were like $2.38 for a package of strawberries. I grabbed some of these Thomas's bagel thins, 110 calories. And let's see, I think four grams of protein for 110 for one bagel, which is great because they're, you know, the bagel thin so we can make bag uh, like breakfast sandwiches. We grabbed some eggs because always have eggs on hand. Um, some ground pork. I usually make um, either pork meatballs or um, burgers with these. And we've been enjoying those a lot more than the ground beef and they're less calories and the you know like the protein ratio to calories ratio is so much better with the ground pork than the ground beef so we've been doing that lately and then really enjoying that i got some scope um just grabbed because we need it we were out um something that i just try to keep on hand is just a pizza in the freezer for anyone who is being picky and doesn't like what i made for dinner so I do have some picky eaters in my house. So that was like $4.48 for that. And then I needed some coffee, which I, my absolute favoriteest coffee is the um, pumpkin caramel, uh, it, was, it was like the pumpkin caramel latte that they had for seasonally last um, fall. And I hope they bring it back because it is absolutely delicious and I've been having a hard time finding something that I like remotely close to it. This isn't too bad. Uh, this is the McCafe Dolce de Leche Latte. It's nice because it already has like some sweetener and some creamer already in it. Um, and it, but if you like a little extra creamer, you can do that, but it does have 90 calories in it because it does have the creamer and sweetener in it already guys. But this is pretty good. It's pretty tasty. So I grabbed that. This was $6.98 for 10 of those. And then I needed some paper plates. These were $5 and change for 100 plates, uh, paper plates. And then also something that's quick and easy for the kids in the morning are these high protein instant breakfasts. Um, these are pretty good. They're all just shake them and go. And they really like those. So that's everything that I picked up this week from Walmart, guys. And if you like this video and you'd like to see more, please give it a great big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.